I want to see, are there any health benefits to exposure to a steam room? If so, what are the health benefits? And then watch it. What I do is get into it. The number you have dialed. Please note, the new number is. Diagnosis of what they said you had. Uh, a prostate infection. Prostate infection? Yeah. From sitting in the sauna and steam, from moisture. From moisture. From build, I'm talking about the build up of moisture, period. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? If you just say not just in a steam room or a sauna, you know, like you in somewhere that's, that's constant, that's, that's hot, hot, hot. And just say, you know what I'm saying? You ain't. You in ain't. complex topic, it's a lot of factors involved in this. Like, how much water do you drink? How much sleep do you get? Do you drink alcohol? How much food do you consume? What climate do you live in? All of that stuff plays factors into determining the outcome to this topic. I'm going to keep it simple as possible. I'm just going to speak for myself. I went and got a thermostat so I can track my temperature. Just in case you didn't know, the regular body temperature, normal body temperature is 98.6 degrees. If you're 98.6 degrees, you're normal. You're getting up there at 99.2 degrees and 101.3 is a fever. So just keep that in mind. I weighed in after my workout. I usually weigh in after the workouts. Before I get in the steam room, I just like to measure I'm gonna do my about weight. A 20 minute session in the steam room. And I'm gonna show you the result. The person I spoke to on the phone was one of my clients. He practices sitting in the steam room with a sweatsuit on. I don't. I like to strip down and sweat naturally. You, you got. I think you got to let your body breathe. So I practice sitting with uh, as little clothes as possible. I wear tights and shorts for hygienic purposes and um, cleanliness and safety. But uh, you want to strip down so your body can breathe and sweat naturally. That uh, those sweat suits are not recommended by me. There are no benefits I can see. As you can hear through the phone, he had a prostate infection. So try to avoid sweat suit. You're going to sweat regardless of what you do. No matter what you do in the steam room. So you don't need a sweat suit. If you like me, you go to the steam room to sweat. The body has a natural defense. A natural mechanism to sweat when it gets too warm and when it gets too hot. This is a natural defense. So the body is trying to cool itself down. So when you sweat, you're hot essentially. So the body is fighting the uh, cold. So you, it's good to sweat. And, and mostly sweat is made up of water. So it's cooling you down. Like when, when wind blows over the body, it, it creates a cooling effect. That's why we sit in steam room. When you sit in the steam room too long, the body overheats and it sweats. You exhaust all the fluids in the body. So you run out of water, essentially. So you get dehydrated. So that's why sitting in the steam room can be bad. And that can lead to other problems like heat stroke, heat exhaustion. So the body can withstand heat for a small period of time. Once you run out of water, you got to get more water, but it has to run its course. You know, it's like anything, you know, yeah. you do it in moderation, you know, it's cool. Exactly. It, it ain't, I don't think it's something that you should be doing all day. No, no. Just like ice. If you stayed in ice too long, you will get negative benefits. Like, you get benefits up to a certain point. Yeah, there's guys that, uh, people who sit in ice water, you know, and it probably has some benefits, but. I usually sit in the stand room after my workouts to help me calm down and relax and loosen up my muscles. So, essentially, this is recovery. This is me bouncing back after a workout. I've been doing this for close to 10 years and it does relax you. 
and it makes you sweat. So if you want to sweat without working, this is the place to go. You do detox when you go to the steam rooms. You remove toxins from the body, but it's not the way you think. You're not gonna ooze out grease and sludge from your skin and stuff like that. You're gonna lose sodium, sweat, and a few toxins. It's not like a person may think. You do detox though, so that's a health benefit. According to the Journal of Environmental and Public Health, it was found that individuals that used a sauna or a steam room regularly but also had high blood levels of mercury, started seeing a reduction in mercury levels of their blood just after a couple weeks of increasing their sauna or steam room usage. What this tells us is that mercury, one of the most difficult toxins to actually remove or detox from, can be removed from the bloodstream, removed from the body simply by sweating. This proves to us that sweating is in fact, a form of detox. And another crazy stat, I think sweat is made up 90, 80% of water. So when you sweat, you're losing mostly water and sodium and stuff like that, but it's mostly water. So you drink that back. So say for instance, you drink three pounds of water. You sit in the stream room and you sweat three pounds out. You drink another three pounds, it's right back. The theory that the steam room makes you lose weight is false. It's a myth. Now, a big question I always get about the steam room. Do you lose weight? And the answer is yes and no. Because you actually do lose weight. But the answer is you lose water weight. You lose water weight, not actual fat tissue, not adipose tissue. You lose water weight. And why I say water weight is because the weight, the water weight you just lost, you can essentially drink that water, that weight back with water, and you be at the same weight. In this video, I forgot to weigh myself at the end of that steam room session, but that's a very important point. So you do lose weight, but you lose water weight. Is that real weight? Technically it is, but it's not. It's not fat. It's not adipose tissue. Now, you receive a host of other health benefits using the steam room, like with your skin, your skin health, workout recovery, it loosens stiff joints, it reduces stress, it opens up sinuses, burns calories to a certain extent. You're not going to burn calories until you're skinny. You're going to burn a few calories while you're in the steam room, extra calories. I like to think of it, think of a, a turtle or a reptile. They are cold blooded. They need the warmth of the sun to move around. The sun provides extra energy and it warms them up. It, it makes them burn calories. It's the same thing. When you're in the steam room, it aids your ability to burn calories. That's how I like to think of it. Just like everything else you do, there are risks associated with using the steam room. I suggest no longer than 15 to 20 minutes, wherever your threshold allows you. Don't push it. Of course, I've been using it for a long time, so that's why I did 20 minutes in this video. Overall, I would advise and recommend the use of the steam room. The benefits of the steam room seem to outweigh the potential uh, negative effects. You know, I've never had a bacterial infection or anything of that nature. I would say try it out. Tell me what you think about it. If I left out anything in this video, let me know in the comment section. Don't be afraid to give this video a like and comment. Share with your friends if you learned something from this video. I'm thinking about doing a sauna video, so let me know in the comment section if you want to see that. Hopefully you learned something. By the way, that client I was talking about earlier, he had prostate infection due to moisture. His doctor advised that he stayed out of moisture area for a while. Uh, keep that in mind. So it is a risk of getting bacterial infections, I guess. But that's my first time ever hearing a complaint in the steam room. Just do it wisely. I say three sessions per week. I don't go in and out the sauna. I just try to toughen out, do 20 minute sessions straight. I build up the threshold. Yeah, like I said, that's all I got for you in this video. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.